11 things why you should consider getting a Panasonic FC300 to start creating content coming up. Okay, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose Velez. I'm a music producer. I do my own music teaching, covers, tutorial, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And this time I'm doing a series about uh, YouTube and my setting, my story, my cameras. So yeah, if you're new here, consider subscribing. It will be fun. I'm going to be sharing my uh, tips, settings, and with now with cameras. If you miss my story, uh, videos preview then you can watch those later I've been using a couple of cameras and variation phone GoPro and bridge camera so let me start this video will be only for the Panasonic uh, FC300 <laughs> and how I do it with the microphone, with the mini tripod, with my settings. Let me get into it. All the links will be down in the description. If I forget something, will be there. So you can see and go there. I also, I use webcams for the computer and it's easy to, when you are recording directly in your computer. I remember when I started with a camera after the point and shoot, I choose the Canon SX40, which is a good camera. It's a bridge camera with flip screen, like this one. So you can see yourself. And you can see that you are in focus when you are recording or you are in the sh shot. But didn't have a mic input you know to put the audio to the cable inside of the camera so you can record good audio with a external microphone because most of the microphone in the camera on board camera are not that good it's better to have a sterner microphone but you can start that way the problem with the camera that does not have mic input I will have to record in another source or my phone the audio and then the camera the video and then put it together in post production in the video editing which is not that hard but it's another step that you have to add then I went with uh, Concorder, which I have a, a flip screen. This way, if I can. <laughs> not gonna, okay, but again, I'm not gonna be talking about these devices. Those are for other video. Just explaining what what I started with before I went to the Panasonic. That one have the mic input and the flick screams that is good many people when you start searching uh, to be a youtuber and how to record a youtube they will say get a camera that you can change the lens and get into that world of lenses <laughs> this is a canon t5i and have the flick screen so you can see when you are in focus or out of focus or in the frame and there's a good quality right now i'm recording with a canon t5i so you can see the quality is good but uh, the auto focus is not that great so sometimes if i move too fast it's gonna start haunting me and I'm gonna be out of focus, unfocused, out of focus and that's very distracting and I have lost many of video because 
of the autofocus. I needed something that I don't want to be changing lenses, uh, that the autofocus is fast, that I don't have to be like recording the same video in two or three takes, record the one take and be done. I need a mic input, yeah. The Canon t I have the mic input. I'm recording right now with a lavalier with uh, the mic input. Uh, the 300 Panasonic FC have the mic input, which is a big plus. You need to have a, for good audio, you need a mic input so you can put a external microphone so the audio is better quality. Let me talk about the Pro first. So, Pro, I needed a mic input, okay? I did, I already said that, but I'm gonna emphasize because when I started with the point and shoot or the phone, I didn't have external microphone. Although you can add a adapter and then you can have a external microphone to the phone. I'm gonna talk in the other video about how I do it with the phone. So the first uh, pro is that it has mic input. That's why I'm, I'm putting the microphone in the input and using the task start. I uh, have the 10 plus, which increase the gain of the volume and a cut. If I have wings and I want to cut the wing, I can in, uh, engage that. And now I'm going to check the microphone. I can see the level of the microphone. How can you check it? Just press the meter at the bottom in the back part. Go to uh, the camera icon, the recording camera, not the camera, the recording camera. And press there. One, two, three. One. So it's now receiving, and I want to have in the half wave. So if I put it too loud, the, this yellow dot here, one, two, three, and then it's gonna start picking one, two, three, one, two, three. So right now it's fine. So in this camera, I like to have it very low, one, two, three, because I want the line to go in the meter, which is gonna be great for audio because it's not gonna peak, it's not gonna distort there's going to be distortion. Set it there. And I'm ready. And the micro microphone is picking me. And the sound is going to be nice and clear. So I'm going to do a recording right now here. So you can see how it comes. Let me do it this side. Okay. Okay. So I'm here testing the microphone. How it sound. One, two, three, testing one, two, three. See? So here you have it. And then you can check the level and adjust the level accordingly. So that's a good, okay? Bye here. So that's good microphone. Number two. Flip, the flip screen, so you can see that you're in focus, that is recording well. <laughs> you can see, you know, the red dot recording. Number three, it is 4K under $400 in a camera. This is really good. Under that amount, under $400, I got that one on Amazon for $350. I think it was refurbished, uh, but you can find it like this and or used or new in $380 or $400. And it's amazing camera. Because later, if you need to crop your video uh, in post-production, the quality is still gonna be great. It had 
a 12 megapixel which in quality of the camera talking is gray 12 is gray in camera very clear and good five gray out of focus okay so you're not going to be fighting as i said before with my canon t5i sometimes if now the out of focus is not damn fast so that one is really good so let's do a test here so later you can see okay so i'm recording right now in the panasonic um 300 and i'm gonna be moving and see how the autofocus is getting my face if i am in focus or out of focus and you will see <laughs> okay bye you know yeah you have to do a lot of tests if you have about out of focus then it's gonna be very distracting number six it is gray in low light situation right now here is like kind of dark I only have one light over there and it's getting dark here so as you can see in the footage let me put this one down low there you go here see okay so here it is with not much light only one light is, is performing good If you are recording indoor and it's very dark because it's getting at uh, night, you need lighting. At least three set of lighting. Yeah, you need lighting. The upper two lens is 2.8, which is gray for low light situation. You will have great performance out of that camera. Amazing. Number seven image stabilization when you're moving with the camera the it's gonna reduce the shake inside have something that is gonna you're gonna be recording handheld videos and the shake will be less than if you don't have image uh, stabilization uh, especially when you do with phones or with the GoPro that doesn't have that you can see the shake more and more or if you have a camera that doesn't does not have that let's go to number eight gray battery life you're not gonna be disappointed by the life of this battery I remember I bought a Canon S X 500 and the battery dies in the in those moments that you need that picture and that video and then you don't have more battery because it's run out uh, quickly that battery long 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 very very nice just get a extra one and you don't have to buy the original i bought a uh, another one that it was generic and it's been good so then I have two when one is charging the other is ready in the camera and vice versa and then you're ready to go you're not gonna be disappointed uh, I took that camera to Puerto Rico to take a uh, picture videos and it was a blast I have videos in forage if you want to see it click the card so number nine has different modes that the big cameras has for uh, manual, the upper two, the short SP, uh, programming out of uh, auto. So he just put it on auto and the camera will decide every settings for you. Or you can start learning the manual mode or the other modes. That's a very nice, good. Plus, uh, in the mode, you can do auto mode, but I have found that in P, 
put it in P, in the P, which is mean program, is a semi-automatic. So the camera is still going to decide some of the feature according to the light and the situation and the scene, but you still have control over some things like white balance, what is white balance? You need to adjust the color. If the if the if you have lights that are yellow, then you can adjust that in the white balance to not so yellow. So you can have more white and uh, fix those colors. And also ISO, which means uh, ISO is for fake light into your footage especially when it's kind of dark. So right now that camera should be putting more ISO because it's getting dark here. And if you have too much ISO, that can ruin your, can damage your footage. So you need ISO, but not too much. So I keep it like around to 200 to 1600. And no more than that. If I put 3200, it's too much, and then it's gonna damage the footage or the or the picture or the video. Later with this, you can uh, learn uh, how to use the manual and have control over everything. But that will be for another tutorial. <laughs> Let me know if you're interested in the manual mode. Number 10, gray zoom for long list distance pictures. It had 20 uh, times more, so 24 times more. So you don't need to change lenses. So in the beginning stage, I think that's, all, that's awesome. Then you don't have to be worried about that because getting into a DSLR, which is this model DSLR, you're getting into a Pandora box. It's good, but you will be spending a lot of money on lenses and other stuff. So yeah, I recommend this Panasonic FC300 so much. It's a great all around camera. You don't need anything else. As I say, I traveled to Puerto Rico last summer and it was super. It has 4.6 stars on Amazon. You can check it out. Number 11, you can transfer pictures and video through Wi-Fi, which is a plus. Cons, there's not much bad to say. So here we go. This is the cons. It has limited recording time uh, as all the SLR. All these SRR, they have limit time because there's a law that they cannot compete with the bigger camera recording, you know, the camcorders and all, all the professional camera because those are for recording and this is supposed to be for more pictures and short videos. Mm -hmm. So with this, you can record like 15 to 30 minute video uh, depend all depend on the setting for the 4k HD or the 720 or depend on the setting so you would not have more than 30 minutes uh, your camera will shut down at 30 minutes or less it's all of the bridge camera and the DSLR so if you want to record more longer video, then you will have to buy one of, for events or something that you need an hour or more, then you will need a concorder. It weighs 1.52 pounds, so it's a little heavy for blogging, but for me, I don't mind. The other thing that is a con, it will not get hardly any background blurry because it's not a DSLR, it's a bridge camera. But for me, I don't need the background blurry. I just need to be in focus, look good, 
record good, audio good, everything good, the flip screen. So in this uh, situation, I don't need a background. But if I need to do it, then I will have to then go to the a Canon, that one that I have right now, T5i, or other DSLR that can do that. Which, by the way, you're spending like 400 in this one, and you have the entire package. If you go with a DSLR, you will spend 800 and more. Uh, without lenses, if you start putting lenses, it's even more. So it's a Pandora box. For my blocks, I need a regular tripod. This is tall. This is like 30 bucks, 35 bucks in Amazon. I'm gonna put the link below. A other thing that I like to have is a, a ball head. Attach it here. This is like twenty dollar too. Link gonna be down below and pictures. This is the ball head, and I leave this because this is a quick release. When I put it on my camera or on my camcorder or whatever I have, then just press and it's tie and then just unlock, and then quick release. When I do the camera, die, and then quick release, then the camera is off, and then I don't have to start screwing that all the time. So this is awesome. The ball head, love it so much. I have like fours because I have it everywhere. Then I don't have to start screwing all over again. The good thing about these, It is tall, set it up there. I have two, one for my small tripod and the other one for a big tripod. So this is my big tripod. And that's why this headboard, I like it so much because set it up is quickly and then I can see and record directly. So you need that and the small tripod. Let me change your back. This is the small tripod. This one is like a gong style, but have the ability to turn into a tripod. So right now it's a small tripod and you can change here. This is how I hold it for blogging. And I like it so much. So right now I'm gonna set up the camera. It's ready to go like this, see? And if I need to do a shot that I have to sit, I can just turn this around and convert this into a tripod, put it in a table or something and I can adjust the level and I can start recording, pointing to the camera or more. And there you have it. I'm gonna do one more test outside, but I'm gonna do it in here. Okay, so I'm testing right now outside. The audio is in the meter. I set the audio in the meter. And the white balance, I put it when I am outside in auto because it's gonna adjust for you. And I'm holding it with the gun tripod uh, style. And the microphone is up at the top. I have the mic, the camera, and it's pointing at me. I'm looking, and then I can see the flip screen that I am in focus. And I can start talking and have my story. Remember to do a story, beginning, middle part, and an ending. Be quick, fun and be done so here's the quality test and this is the panasonic fc 300 <laughs> thank you so much hope you like and enjoy this video uh, if you like it smash the like subscribe and remember that i'm breaking this down in pieces so stay tuned thank you so much 
Remember, breathe inside yourself, breathe inside your view. Bye.